Sports Business Journal, which I don't have a subscription for because it costs a shit ton of money. Uh, but Boxing Esquire does, and they release their uh, yearly, annual, in-depth article on combat sports. And they release, I think it's their top 10. I think it's their top 10, maybe more. One, two, three, four, five. More like 20, I think. Um, most tele- or Most watched fights in the U.S. market. And these are obviously only using Nielsen ratings. We don't have streaming numbers. We don't have any OTT service numbers numbers at all. So no Fox Sports streaming, nothing like that. Just pure Nielsen TV numbers. And obviously Fox dominated this year, it seems. Um, out of the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. At the top 15 events, only three of them are ESPN. One of them is Showtime. One of them was Fox Sports 1. Which is Fox, right? Which is Fox, which is also Fox. But not Big Fox. I just want to make that distinction. Um, Really, really impressive stuff here from Fox. But also not surprising. We kind of knew this already. Like, again, if you read my article on Mixed Combat Radio, you would know that Showtime is down 37%. ESPN is down 10%. And Fox is up almost like 40%. Like they're up significantly from last year. And this is, again, not really surprising. And I will say this, though. There are two caveats I want to give to this news or this these stats. One, obviously, it takes away a lot of the big-time fights this year that happen on streaming services or pay-per-views even, right? So... Spence Garcia even is on this list because that, while it didn't do 2.49 million buys, it probably did more views overall worldwide in terms of just metrics than Keith Thurman Jose de Lopez. So, you know, these numbers are a little bit flawed in that way just because there's it's not a complete list of every number and how these numbers can really uh, compare to different uh, networks, different versions, different, uh, different formats of distribution. And... Also, a lot of the streaming fights, Canelo fights, AJ fights, aren't here because streaming numbers are not available. And plus, also, the differences in Fox base and a DAZN base is drastic. However, that's beside the point because Fox is still dominating this year in terms of U.S. numbers. So, not really that surprising, um, to be honest. And, And plus, I will say this, a lot of these fights that like ESPN are having aren't on main ESPN. I think that's hurting their perception a lot. But in a similar way to UFC, where their numbers have been down this year as well from last year. But that's mainly because a lot of their cards have left TV. They're now on ESPN+. Plus. Pay-per-views are now on ESPN+. Plus. So the market has shifted entirely while Fox is still playing with the old paradigm. And this article is viewing it from the old paradigm framing of Nielsen TV ratings. So it's a it's a hard comparison at this point in time, though, in my opinion. Uh, I am curious to see what the Terrence Crawford numbers are, though, in two weeks. Because Crawford's last fight was on pay-per-view. Then the fight before that was ESPN Plus as well. So we haven't seen Crawford numbers in a while. And the last one he did was Benavidez, and that did, what, like 3 million viewers? Um, so we have seen certain fighters. Obviously, Canelo, if he was on TV, he did, what, 2 point something million on HBO. You know, it's, again, a weird world we live in where we only skew one way and angle the conversation when we leave out some of the biggest cards this year because they're on pay-per-view or streaming services. Uh, But Gary, thoughts on Fox sort of dominating the TV landscape at at least, the linear TV landscape? Fox just does sports better than everybody else, right? Like Fox has football on Sunday up against CBS. Same, Same product, right? NFL football. Fox is way better, right? When Fox has the World Series, it's way better. Fox just does sports better, so this isn't surprising to me. They market it right, they they, they sell it right, mm-hmm. and yeah. then they they product it and package it right. So it's not surprising to me at all. The marketing machine for Fox has been insane, to be honest. No, no worries, no worries, Gary. Um, I think the like we talked, you know, we talked about this a, a long time, especially years ago, right? I mean, you guys know this. The HBO machine was king, not too long ago, and the Fox machine seems to be just a 
completely different behemoth. Like I, I am curious to see whether this marketing budget can be sustained because it seems extremely high to be honest. Not saying that it's a bad thing. I think it's a great thing that they've been marketing boxing this way, but. Again, they've been producing good numbers. So that's been good for them. But uh, let's say they have an off year. I hope they can cons- they continue this marketing push in boxing because Fox's machine is insane. Uh, Gary, sorry, what were you gonna say? Oh no, I would. <clears throat> You're good. Uh, my only point was that um, Fox does sports better and they yeah. sell it right. So I, I'm I'm really not surprised. Whenever Fox picks up picks up sports, uh, the, the ratings go up. So mm-hmm. I, I, I'm really not surprised. Um, CBS is the only organ, is the only of the four major cable uh, television providers yeah. that they don't demo the 20, 18 to 35. They demo 55 plus. I, I, I don't know like if, if how much, which makes sense because those people have money and, and I'm, I don't want to get, but they have a, a, a different, than everybody else, an ABC or Fox or NBC. So, I, I don't know. Uh, so, like, most of boxing was on Showtime, mm-hmm. and they just sell it differently. They have a different game plan than Fox does. Yeah. So, I, I think whatever Fox is doing, they're better at it. And just the overall reach. Like, the reach of Fox is just far different than the reach of Showtime. Like, just the, the budgets of these networks, the, the size of these networks are just extremely different. I think but we fail to realize that at times. If Showtime wanted to, they could have put their fights on CBS and got the same ratings. No, no, it, no. I mean, they're not gonna, but they could have. Is what I'm saying. In theory, right? But we do know that the CBS exec. Uh, why am I forgetting his name? That got booted out for the Me Too movement. But he was the big boxing guy at CBS. He got kicked out, and that was right after Thurman Garcia, right? Because we did have some CBS fights, right? But yeah. then that stopped. Around that same time, I think, God, who was it? Lauren something? Sorry if I get the name. Uh, but actually, why am I saying sorry? Me Too movement. Fuck him. Um, but uh, I think when that happened, there clearly wasn't that same. Uh, the, the same. The same backing from CBS to Showtime Boxing as there previously was. And Showtime cannot just go to CBS, the parent company, Les Moonves. Thank you. Thank you, Les Moonves. I'm thinking of like Lauren Michaels, I think. Yeah, Les Moonves. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Heyman World, surprisingly. Um, and I think it just it's impossible for Showtime to do that. They're the subsidiary company. You know, it would have to be CBS going out of their way to Showtime and saying, "We're going to support you. We're going to back you. We're going to put your fights on here." It can't be the other way around. Like Steven Espinosa, I don't think can legitimately go to CBS execs and say, "Hey, please put on a Wilder fight to offset costs." I'm like, yo, go back to your network. We're doing other things here. I think that's what it, I think that's the new paradigm, the new dynamic between CBS and Showtime. So that relationship, that backing isn't there. While Fox, they lost the UFC. Right? The UFC left them and went to ESPN. They needed something to fill that void. And plus, FS1, let's be honest, has nothing other than now boxing content and WWE content. Why? Because they acquired those two entities post the UFC to fill that void. And I, uh, I think because of that, that's why you see that that backing from from Fox because that's their sole combat sports property now. While CBS is thinking we have so many other things, we don't even care about what Showtime is necessarily doing right now. That's their own building, its own corporation in a way. We own it, but they're they're in their own world. We do our own thing here now, and that's the difference. That's why Showtime is now on its island, surviving trying to make big fights, but they can't. And their only card that was on that list of the the most televised or most watched fights was a Deontay Wilder fight, who's now going to be on Fox pay-per-view going forward, it seems. Do you think that Showtime could do better numbers if CBS marketed it better? Or, 
I mean, do you think that just they're not that interested in that? And like, whatever. I think in theory, yes. Let's say CBS had the equal budget of Fox in terms of marketing for for, for boxing. Would it help Showtime viewership? I think yes. Would it be as a one to one translation? No, because you're asking CBS viewers to go to Showtime, which they might not have. While Fox, if you're promoting a PBC on Fox event on a NFL on Fox game, it's more of a one to one translation for the viewer because they're on the network, so to speak, if that makes sense, right? Um, so I think obviously, yes, it would help. Would it be as helpful as the Fox's budget and marketing budget? I should say no. I don't. I don't think so. I think Fox. Fox's machine is more streamlined because it's just Fox. Like, yeah, they have S- FS1 shows, which have kind of done poorly, and we're going to talk about their FS2 prelims for Wild Ortiz, which did 141,000 viewers. But then again, that's FS2. It's a different world in a way, similar to um, CBS and Showtime. Like, it's a different world, different numbers in terms of su- subscribers and viewers. Um, I think Fox doesn't really care about the FS2 prelims as much or the FS2 network as much because Fox is doing its own thing. And most of the PBC events this year have sort of been on Fox and that's helped it. You know, just, I feel like it's a very easy way to understand, uh, to understand like Fox has what 120 million some odd, uh, subscribers because you know, it's a free linear TV and CBS has run the same amount. FS1, I think, has 70-something million, like 76 million. ESPN has 88 million. We're really talking about a like 40%, 30% drop in overall base of viewers for these networks, let alone I'm Showtime, which only has 24 million subscribers. I'm a sports fan. I have FS2. Without looking it up, I have no idea what channel is. I think it's in the 600s. I have no idea. Dude, I, I, obviously, we were talking in the, the group chat before the show, right? And Rob brought up the, this, the stat, right? You know, to try to take some shots at Wilder, right? Shout out to UK Rob. And I was like, look, man, like FS1 is on, I think, 2, 212, 216, which is 10 channels away from 206, which is ESPN. The proximity of that, you're muted, Gary. Uh, the proximity of that is just easy for channel surfers. FS2, like you said, is like 619, 616. And all the channels are in that, that 200 range, like the NFL network, the NBA network, the MLB network. They're all in that in that range. FS2, I, I thought it was 670-something. I thought it was near the Longhorn network, but you're saying it's 619? You might be right. I honestly have no clue. I have to search for it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I don't know. I, so that's a problem. If yeah. you can't find it, you can't watch it. And not to the same an analog way but like showtime people know where showtime is but it has 23 million 25 million subscribers that's far less than what fs1 has what fox has even what espn has or Did you uh, say fs2 had i don't know what fs2 has i know it has less than fs1 obviously i forget exactly what that is. i can look that up really fast hold on let me look that up fs2 FS2 is like how ESPN is ESPN2, but then they have like ESPN U and ESPN News. They don't really care that much. If someone stays on it when they're flipping through channels, great. If not, that's not where their bread is buttered. They don't really care that much about FS2, which with the amount of, I guess FS1 probably had college football on at that particular time, which is why they didn't show the prelims on, on FS1, I would guess. But y- you think with as much advertising dollars as they put into selling Wilder versus Ortiz, which was quite a lot, that they would put the prelims on their big boy cable network. And they didn't. I'm guessing it was because of college football, but I don't know. I'm trying to find it. I don't know. Hold on. Let me see.